Holy crap, that was a pretty awesome NBA Draft 2016. Welcome to the video today, guys. My name is Brandon, and I am here to break down the Phoenix Suns 2016 NBA Draft. Just give you guys my quick thoughts and break down the players who the Phoenix Suns drafted because, yeah, it was a pretty exciting and pretty successful NBA Draft with a lot of twists and turns. And with that being said, in the 2016 NBA Draft with the fourth Overall pick, the Phoenix Suns select Dragon Bender from Croatia. And involving a trade for the 8th overall pick, with the 8th overall pick in the 2016 NBA Draft, the Phoenix Suns select Marquise Chris out of the University of Washington. The 34th overall pick in the second round, the Phoenix Suns select Tyler Eulis out of the University of Kentucky. And with all that being said, the Phoenix Suns complete the 2016 NBA Draft. And guys, I really do feel like this was a successful twists and turns NBA Draft for the Phoenix Suns. And they have a lot to be excited about. If you guys didn't know, this 2016 NBA Draft has a lot of international flavor to it. A lot of international men of mystery, if you will. And Dragon Bender was one of the higher ranked international players. And he actually has been for a few years. Dragon Bender is a seven foot one power forward who, in a strange way, could play a lot of spots in the NBA. He'd be a slashing forward, a power forward, or a center. He's going to need time to develop and grow, but I'm really excited for Dragon Bender, the fourth overall pick in the NBA draft. He has a seven foot two wingspan. He can handle and pass the ball, and he is a really good defensive player perimeter player this guy can play defense and he knows it guys I won't lie his stats aren't worth discussing he did come off the bench with his team however the Phoenix Suns and Dragon Bender himself have a lot to work on but they also have a lot to be excited about Dragon Bender does have a really unique skill set that the Phoenix Suns are really excited for. And later on in the NBA draft, the Phoenix Suns were supposed to have the 13th overall pick and the 28th overall pick. And involving a trade, the Phoenix Suns sent the 13th and 28th overall pick and the draft rights to Bogdan Bogdanovich and the 2020 Detroit Pistons second round pick in order to get the 8th overall pick in which they selected Marquise Chris from the University of Washington. Now guys, Marquise Chris is a really interesting player and his draft week was really interesting because this guy came out of nowhere. The 6'10", 225 power forward from the University of Washington has a 38 and a half vertical leap. Marquise Chris averaged 13.7 points per game, 5.4 rebounds per game, 1.6 blocks per game. He did get in a lot of foul trouble and averaged a lot of fouls per game. But guys, this guy is a freak athlete. The Phoenix Suns did a great job of acquiring him. And Marquise Chris seems very excited. He said that when the Suns didn't originally draft him with the fourth overall pick, he even admitted to being a little bit down about that. But the Phoenix Suns worked their magic and got Marquise Chris. Now, it is a high-risk, high-reward kind of pick. Marquise Chris might need a few years to develop, or he can come out and dominate right away. It's going to be really interesting. He does have some comparisons to Sean Marion, some comparisons to Amari Stoudemire, both former Phoenix Suns fan favorites. So it's going to be interesting with this pick. And in the second round, with the 34th overall pick, the Phoenix Suns select Tyler Eulis, the 5'9", 150-pound guard out of the University of Kentucky. Former SEC Player of the Year, played in 72 games for Kentucky at his two years there. Averaged 17 points per game, 7 assists per game. He's a really good floor general and a really good pesky defender. And you know what, guys? I actually really like his size. And you guys, I am actually really excited for a couple of different reasons. Dragon Bender and Marquise Chris are unique players, but with a lot of similarities. And their size and skill factor is something to be really excited about for both players. But what also is really intriguing me is that the Phoenix Suns are wanting to play them together. That is awesome. The fourth and eighth overall pick, two power forwards who are young and athletic and have good skill sets playing together on the floor with a young Phoenix Suns team. That gets me excited. 
Another thing that gets me really excited is the Phoenix Suns are starting to build more of a culture around this Phoenix Suns team. Dragon Bender, the Phoenix Suns had their eye on him. It really did seem like he wanted to come here. Marquise Chris even admitted to wanting to come to the Phoenix Suns, and the magic worked, and it worked. And Tyler Eulis is really good friends with Devin Booker and also wanted to come here. The Phoenix Suns drafting a whole bunch of Kentucky players, building that culture around youth and excitement. And the Phoenix Suns and the Suns fans have a lot to be excited about. And guys, I do understand that this draft is considered a little bit weak as compared to most drafts, but I really do feel like this is a draft where you need to kind of keep your eye on it because there might be a lot of future NBA All-Stars, a lot of players that you might want to keep your eye on who are going to develop and get really good. You never know what kind of hidden gems are in this NBA draft. So even though it's considered weak, I do feel like you have to keep your eye on this draft class. The Phoenix Suns have endless possibilities and endless scenarios. And yes, I understand the Phoenix Suns have a lot of guards on their team. Currently, the Phoenix Suns have these guards on their team, restricted free agents, unrestricted free agents, players under contract. Devin Booker, Eric Bledsoe, Brandon Knight, Archie Goodwin, John Jenkins, Ronnie Price, Phil Pressey, and Tyler Eulis are all guards currently on the Phoenix Suns. Wow. And something I wanted to address for a personal reason. My initial reaction when the Phoenix Suns drafted Dragon Bender was excited, but I was also a little confused. But that was because they had not made the trade yet for the eighth overall pick. Because again, the Phoenix Suns' number four pick came down to Marquise Chris and Dragon Bender. So I was like, whoa. But Ryan McDonough and the Phoenix Suns did a solid job of not only getting Dragon Bender, but getting two players who were high on their list that they extremely wanted. And the cherry on top was Tyler Eulis. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I am so excited for the future of Phoenix Suns basketball. My name is Brandon. Subscribe to this channel for future Phoenix Suns videos. Subscribe to this channel for future NBA videos. I'm going to be covering a lot of things that are going to happen in the NBA offseason. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys next time.